Welcome to South Point Park, this beautiful 17-acre waterfront park in the southernmost point of Miami Beach. It offers beautiful views from the Atlantic Ocean, Government Cut, and Fisher Island behind me, and it has become a gathering sport for locals and tourists alike. I'm your host, Paula Flores, and today we will uncover a little bit more of the Miami you don't know. Let's go see this beautiful park. This right here is Government Cut, which is a man-made shipping channel between Miami Beach and Fisher Island, and it allows for better access to the Port of Miami. Operation of the Cut falls upon three government agencies. The Port of Miami is responsible for navigation, while the United States Coast Guard is responsible for safety and security, and the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers for the channel itself, including dredging. Here is where all the massive cargo ships and cruise liners come into port. These massive ships are definitely a sight to be seen. We just recently had the Icon of the Seas made in Voyage. The Icon of the Seas is the largest ship in the world. Now here is a fun historical part. Sun Dredge from Government Cut was repurposed as landfill for the original 21-acre Fisher Island, which today is 216 acres. And Fisher Island hosts the most expensive zip code in the country. Talk about the American dream. And today is a beautiful day for a nice walk on the pier. And it also has a beautiful beach. But the economic engine of the area, which for the locals is called Sofi, or South of Fifth, is the Miami Beach Marina, which is where we're going next. And joining us today to tell us about the nautical heart of the marina is my friend Muriel Enlo. She's a seasoned yacht broker with Denison Yachting. Hey, my friend. You're gonna tell us all about the marina today? Absolutely, let's, let's go. The marina was built more than 40 years ago to stimulate the redevelopment in the South of Fifth neighborhood. And it has been a catalyst for one of the most successful urban renewal projects in the nation. Throughout its lifespan, the marina has attracted billions of dollars through private investment to the neighborhood and given way to one of South Florida's most beloved pedestrian-oriented mixed-use neighborhoods. My office, Denison Yachting, is here. And we have so many other things to offer, like a dive shop, we have a salon. And then the marina itself, we have 400 slips for boats, big and beautiful and really small boats that you can see at the more at the ends of the docks. There's also charters available here. So everything that a sea lover needs. Even a tiki bar, Monty Sunset, place for locals and the people that come in. And can you tell us how has the marina impact the community? So many people think that all of these boats that you see here are owned by people that live in South Beach or Miami Beach. But about 50% of them are actually from people all over the world and all over the United States. We're kind of like the gateway to boating, whether it's the Bahamas, the Caribbean. They'll use it as a condo and maybe stay on it or maybe take off and go boating. What role do you play with Denison? Denison, I'm a yacht broker. And what's unique about me is I work with my husband and we're a partnership, so we're a team, which is very common in real estate, right? right. But it's not really in the yacht brokerage world. But what that does is it gives our buyers and our sellers the opportunity to have two people working for them for the same price. My white husband is actually out today doing a survey and a sea trial on a boat while I'm here with you building relationships in the community and here at the Merida. So the best way I can explain what a yacht broker does is we're basically a realtor for the water. A yacht is our real estate and we help clients buy and sell the yachts. So just like you do for your clients with real estate on land, I help you here in the marina. A realtor for the water. I love that. So stay tuned for more adventures into the Miami you don't know, which today took us from South Point Park to the Miami Beach Marina. This is Paula Flores signing off from South of Fib. Goodbye from the American dream and stay tuned.